Hi everyone, Nick here again, and this is our video number two in the How to Analyze Zip Code Data series of videos. So in this video, I'm going to try to make this as short as we can. I'm going to make, uh, we're going to start by just setting up our sheet. So what I have right here is my um, blank sheet, and this is just my list of zip codes. I have 30 zip codes here. They are all from Michigan, where I'm from. So let's just pretend these were the visitors that came through uh, my door this month. These were the uh, zip codes that they said where they were from. One of the things that I wanted to do in this series of videos is kind of sprinkle in little Excel tips and tricks and shortcuts that I use in my daily life for some productivity. So when I have a list of zip codes like this, I actually like to add one column just for the number. And by number, I just mean the number of cases that I have in my data set. So I'm going to go up here to the A column, column A. I'm going to highlight the entire thing. I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and I'm going to go over here to the Cells menu and just click Insert. So I'm going to insert a new row here. I'm just going to label this with a hash mark or a number sign. And then what I'm going to do is type 1, 2, and 3. Now you know Excel is smart, and it will actually copy a list of cells down. If you take your cursor, highlight, highlight 1, 2, and 3 if you have consecutive numbers, take your cursor here until the little plus sign pops up, and then double click. And when you double click, it'll It'll give you an entire list of numbers in sequence until the last piece of data in that column without any spaces. So let's double click and see what happens. Perfect. One all the way through 30. Okay, so this is really for my own uh, information so that I can just know at a glance this is how many uh, pieces of data I have in my series. Of course, you can always just look over here at the um, at the row numbers, but then of course it starts with 2 and ends with 31, so you have to subtract 1, and obviously that's not too hard. But, you know, I just like to like clean this up a little bit. Let's just make this bold too. If you push Control and B, that'll bold all of your text, and if you want to update the size, just go up here to the font menu and click up to increase the size of the font, or click down to decrease the size of the font. Pretty cool. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to, I know that I want th at least three columns of data. So I'm kind of setting this up right here. I want a column for my city, my county, and my state. So I want to know from this zip code what city, county, and state. So I'm just going to set this up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just type city. I'm going to type county in this column, and I'm going to type state in this column. Now, I also want this to be the same format over here, and I'm going to use the Format Painter to copy the formatting from this cell over to this uh, these three cells. So I'm going to put my cursor into the cell where I want to copy. I'm going to go up here to the clipboard menu. I'm going to click on Format Painter. My Format Painter is activated because I can see that little paintbrush icon here. Whatever I drag, whatever I click and drag over, it's now going to copy this formatting. So let's do that in C, D, and E. I'm just going to click and drag. Awesome, and it does the exact same formatting and even covers the alignment. So the alignment here in this cell is to the right, right justified, and so all of my words are right justified. Okay, now I have to go and click over, oops, there's my PowerPoint from before. I have to go and click over into the zip code database that we uh, downloaded together from unitedstateszipcodes.org. Now what I wanna do is, you can keep this in a separate document, but I like to keep everything in the same document. So what I'm going to do is copy this entire sheet. If you go over here into the very left-hand corner of any Excel worksheet, you can just click here and it automatically selects every single cell and row in your sheet. When I do that, I'm going to make sure everything is selected. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to click Copy. Remember, this is 42,000 rows of data, so it might take just a little bit. I'm going to click down and click back over to my zip code worksheet. And I want to put all of those zip codes on a different tab. So I'm going to go down here to the little menu with a little plus sign. You can see right here I have sheet one. You can actually create multiple sheets in the same workbook. If you just push that plus sign, now I have sheet two. It starts in cell A1 right here, and I'm going to right click and click paste because now I'm going to paste all of that zip code data into this workbook. We'll see how long it takes. Oh, it takes not long at all. Perfect. So just like I did before, I want to work with this zip code data, but I want to make sure that this top row stays frozen. So I'm going to go up to the view tab on the ribbon, go over to freeze panes, and I'm going to say freeze top row. 
Okay, perfect. So this is the entire workbook. Remember the trick from last time, control and down arrow takes you to the last cell in the list. That's cell, that's row 42,725. Control and the up arrow takes me all the way back to the top. And if I just push down, that'll take me all the way up to that top row. Okay, so now everything is here. The other cool thing that you can do with these different tabs is name them. So you can keep everything straight in your head. So in this tab, I'm going to right click, I'm going to type on, click on rename, and I'm just going to type uh, zip code database. You can also recolor these tabs for easy reference. So right click and click on tab color, and you can type any color from any of your palettes. This is just the standard Microsoft palette, but I'm going to go down here and just let this have this nice blue. My zip code list sheet hasn't doesn't have a name, so I'm just going to go ahead and rename this sheet to my, I'm just going to call this zip code list. And let's recolor this too. I'm going to recolor this a nice purple depending on how many workbooks you have or worksheets you have in your workbook, you can come up with some sort of a color coding scheme that makes most sense to you. Okay, so this is how I set up my workbook. I want you to do these exact same steps. And when I come back in the next video, we are going to use an XLOOKUP function to pull data from the zip code database over into our zip code list and it's going to match this zip code here and it's going to spit out our city, county, and state information just from this zip code and the zip code database that we just put in the workbook. Sounds pretty fun, right? I hope you are excited. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to get notified each time I post a new video on data viz, data analysis, presentation design, report design using Excel and PowerPoint. You don't have to be a professional designer to look like one in Excel and PowerPoint, the software you already probably have access to. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.